I'm 13 News Now meteorologist Evan Stewart. Time now for an update on the tropics. It's Wednesday, October 2nd, still two months to go in the Atlantic hurricane season typically peaks around September 10th. So we are on the downslide, but still quite a bit of activity could pop up in early October, very similar to what we see in the middle and the end of August. So still a lot of activity out there. We do have two tropical systems to talk about hurricane and a brand new tropical depression. The good news, both of those systems are well out into the central Atlantic and are not going to cause any problems for any kind of land masses. As we take a look at the whole Atlantic basin, we are still watching that cluster of thunderstorms down through the Caribbean. But of course, here is Kirk. That's our hurricane forecast to become a major hurricane, likely a category four over the coming days. And then right on its heels is a brand new tropical depression. That is tropical depression number 13. So still pretty active out there. As we zoom in, give you a closer look here at Kirk. Very classic look here on the satellite view. When you don't have a lot of wind shear in the upper parts of the atmosphere, and we don't in this part of the Atlantic right now, the tropical systems can become a lot more uh, rounded and a lot more uh, concentric. And we see these bands coming in here and notice how they sort of get a little bit wispy. That allows for a lot of good outflow with these storms as they develop. And the water temperatures are very warm here. So all signs are, porting, are indicating that this will likely develop quickly and rapidly intensify over the next coming days. Right now, a category one hurricane with winds of 85 miles per hour. It's moving to the northwest at 12 and notice it is expected to become a category two, category three and category four hurricane by Friday. But as I mentioned, the good news is this time of year, as we start to get into October and November, we have these fronts that come off the coast and they a lot of times will curve systems off into the Atlantic, and that's what's going to happen here with Hurricane Kirk, basically become just a fish storm as it moves off into the North Atlantic by early next week, weakening. Of course, a concern for shipping interest, but otherwise, Kirk is not going to cause any problems for land. Eventually, maybe some of the remnants will bring some rain off towards areas of, new, of uh, the UK or something like that. But again, no threat to land as it's forecast to become a major hurricane. Then right behind it, Tropical Depression number 13, Formed this morning at 11 o'clock. Here again is the coast of Africa, the Cabo Verde Islands, so it's way out there as well. Currently has winds of 35. It's expected to become a tropical storm and likely even a hurricane as we head into the weekend. The next name on the list is Leslie. But much like Kirk, that same forecast track carries a storm off into the central Atlantic, not going to pose any threat to land. Now, the last area we have to watch and we have to mention is still that low that is down here over the Caribbean that is forecast to move into the Gulf of Mexico. As we get into the end of the week and the weekend, there's still about a 40% chance that this could try to develop into something tropical. Not quite as favorable conditions now in the Gulf of Mexico. The water temperature is certainly warm, but we're starting to see a little more wind shear. And there have been a few systems out here over in the Pacific that have also helped to disrupt some of the tropical systems and some of these lows that have been trying to develop here across the Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico. But something that we will continue to watch, of course, even if it doesn't develop, it could bring some heavy rain for parts of the Gulf Coast, areas that have already been heavily hit with tropical systems earlier this year, just most recently Helene, of course. So something that is still on the radar and something we'll continue to watch, that's it as far as the rest of the tropics go. And as I mentioned, and Tropical Depression 13 out there. The next name on the list is Leslie. And if that system down into the Gulf of Mexico were to develop, that would likely become Milton. So again, we're getting here through about uh, halfway through that second column of the names on the Atlantic hurricane list. And we'll, of course, continue to keep you updated every afternoon with updates on what's going on in the tropics on air and online.